was temporary me or you and she spilled like you got potential What's up core crew and welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Courtney Janine and I'm back with another video. You all loved my hair get ready with me where I installed Bobby Boss Catherine. So I thought why not do those more often on my channel. Today's hair get ready with me. It's not a Q&A like the other get ready with me. But today I wanted to talk about, actually ask you guys what should I talk about. And I put a poll up and you know, I'm not gonna beat a dead horse, but if you're not tuning into my community post, I don't know what you're doing because I always ask you guys for suggestions for which units I should try and picking the topics for my get ready with me's, asking me questions for my Q and A's. So definitely check out my community tab because sis get to it but i asked you guys if you wanted me to rank beyonce's albums or rank the songs on over it by summer walker and summer walkers over it one so that's what i'll be talking about today um don't worry if you voted for the beyonce's albums i will probably do that as well in the future but yeah we're gonna start from number 20 today's unit that we're installing is outre lynette let me show you guys you all already know that i reviewed this but i'm trying it in a different color today i'm trying it in um chocolate swirl which is one of my favorite color blends so i'm excited to install this unit it looks gorgeous you guys know i already took it out the pack so i'm just gonna cut off the stock cart and then we'll get started <gasps> you guys know i love this unit like it's no surprise so i'm just going to do my first layer of spray and then I'll be back to kind of start talking. You got potential. you guys so i just put my first layer on i think i'm just gonna let it sit for a little bit i'm gonna put on this elastic headband but i'm gonna definitely go in with a second layer but before i begin let me just say that over it is a no skip album like don't play with her so when i'm doing this ranking just remember that like essentially over it is a no skip album and it's hard to rank them like something has to be at the bottom you know what i'm saying like don't get mad at me if your favorite song is at the bottom because it one it's my opinion that's my opinion don't you get it why can't anybody have an opinion but you it's my channel this is my video so if you have a different ranking don't come at me in the comments make your own video or keep it cute okay <laughs> period okay so basically i will say that like over it is a no skip album i love this album it's one of my favorite albums period i even did a recreation of the album cover so if you haven't seen that it's it's in the archives <laughs> it's not private or anything it's on my channel so you can definitely go see it but it is definitely baby courtney <laughs> it's definitely baby courtney and it was when i was giving the makeup looks i was giving the girls a look so definitely go um check that out if you haven't seen it already i just wanted to say that because ultimately we might not have the same rankings you know so don't get mad at me and don't come for me in the comments because this is my channel this is my video okay at number i think there's 18 songs in this yeah this is like that's why i'm so excited and still over it comes out this week so i'm super excited and i thought that it was perfect to do this so i'm actually glad that you all voted for this one instead of beyonce's albums because beyonce's albums are timeless and still over it is about to come out so it's like the perfect time to do this type of video so there's 18 songs on over it so number 18 is the girls need love remix i'm so sorry i'm so sorry but drake he did not need to be on that song like let, let's be real like she did not need help my sister did not need help and he just came on the song and not that it's like a bad song but like it's not the best on that album and it was easy for me to put that at the bottom i'm so serious like i literally didn't think twice i was like oh it's 18 songs and that song is number 18 for a reason like period <laughs> 
I do not be checking for that song. Like, even when I listen to the Over album, I literally, I think I stop at playing games, which is number seven on the track list because I'm just like, um, why do I need to listen to this song again? And I just don't really like Drake's addition. Like, I don't think he really added anything to the song. Like, I think he, Drake sometimes, he be adding himself on songs. He don't need to be adding himself on. Like, I'm so sorry. And I love Drake. Like, I'm a Drake stan, but sometimes you have to hang it up. Like, sometimes you just don't need to be added, okay? Even if you like the song, Drake, you don't have to insert yourself into the song. Like, it's a hit song no matter if he's on it or not. So, so the next song on my ranking, I don't know if people like this song. People might, but I don't really like it. I do like it. Like, if I'm listening to the whole album, I'm definitely not going to skip it. But like I said, this is a no skip album. Don't play with her. It stretch you out with A Boogie with the Hoodie. And I like the song, but again, I just don't think A Boogie with the Hoodie really adds anything. So it's kind of like, I would have probably liked it a lot more if it was just her. If it was just Summer, like, and that's n like... It's nothing against A Bigger with Diddy. I like some of his songs too, but like some songs don't need features. And I feel like that song didn't really need a feature. And if it did, I don't think he was the right person for it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't really like that song. Okay, so at number 16, number 16 is Playing Games. And this includes the original one without, <laughs> without Bryson and the one with Bryson. I don't know, like... I really do like this song. I think it was the second single. This song is a really good song, but it just shows you that like this album has so many good songs on it that like something has to be at the bottom. And this is the first song where it's like, I have nothing against this song, but it's just the way the cookie crumbled because I couldn't not put anything else at the bottom. And so this one had to be there but i really do like i used to not like bryson's verse but now i really do like bryson's verse so i actually will put playing games by itself at number 16 and then at number 15 i will put playing games featuring bryson teller because i actually do really think that bryson adds something to the song for the longest time i felt like he was similar to a boogie with the hoodie where he didn't really add much to it but as i listened to it and i listened to it the album a couple more times before doing this video because i was like i need to re-up and really think about my ranking and that song like the first portion of the album just goes so smoothly but for the longest time i used to like skip that song so that's why it's at the bottom but i think what also gets me about good albums is that i most of the time forget which song is which because the album just flows so effortlessly i don't know if that makes sense but it makes sense to me so let me know down in the comments if you feel the same but it happens with summer walker's album it happens with i don't know if you all know lucky day but lucky day's painted album is one of my favorite albums albums period and it happened with his album too i found myself not knowing which song i was listening to because it just flows so effortlessly and it's not like the songs sound similar it's just that it flows into like it's i don't know how to describe it but i feel like the lower portion of summer walker's album kind of really flows together where i can't really tell you which song is which but I listen to it again and this is my ranking right now. So after, well before playing games is anime. And I have to like, I literally have to play it right now because I don't really, oh yeah, this is my song. What's temporary? Me or you? And she spilled, like <laughs> she actually spilled. And that's what I, you know, that's why I'm so excited for um still over it. She has all of our tea. She has all of our tea and she be putting it into a song like are you crazy she's literally insane i love her so so much anime i think it's really cute and it's no it's no shade to anime because i really do like that song but it's like i play the others a little bit more and since the lower portion of the album like i mentioned before kind of just flow into each other i find myself if i'm not listening to the full album i don't really listen to those songs does that make sense so that's how i'm kind of like basing my ranking is like okay which songs do i play the most and which songs because it really is a no skip album i'll say it again it really is a no skip album but at the same time it's like that's only if i'm listening to the whole album if i'm not listening to the whole album the songs that are on the top are ones that I literally be like, okay, let me listen to this, you know? Like, I literally go for that specific song. I don't just, like, put on over it, and then I hear it, and I'm like, oh, this is a good song, you know? So, yeah, anime, and the next couple songs 
I have that same issue where it's like I like the songs but I don't really listen to them unless I'm listening to the album as a whole so that's why they're a little bit lower on the list but I really do love anime and it's such a like I love Summer Walker's voice because it's kind of like she just has so much soul in it I don't know okay so the next one is off of you and I love this song too and this goes back into like Summer Walker's voice because it's kind of like she she doesn't need much for it to be a good song like off of you is literally i think her and i don't know if it's a piano or a guitar don't fight me <laughs> i don't know which instrument it is but she's just like it's just her and the instrument it's not too much beats a lot of people these days no shade but a lot of these artists these days be they be relying on the beat to get them through like to get them a hit i'm it's I got their tea. I feel like a lot of these artists these days really rely on a good beat to get them a hit song. And that's not the case for Summer. Like, I feel like it doesn't matter if she just has her and a guitar. She's literally going to sound good. This is a, another song where it's like... I don't really listen to it by itself unless like I only listen to it when I'm listening to the full album. So the next one is I'll Kill You and that is the song with um, Janae Aiko. I really do like this song but honestly I'm still a little mad because I remember when the track list for Over It initially dropped and we saw that it was I'll Kill You and this happens a lot of times with Summer Walker songs. It's like she has she'll have these like titles like x for a reason i literally thought that that song was gonna sound like i thought she was gonna be talking about her man as her x for a reason but she's here she go talking about the other woman and it's like girl that's not what i thought it was gonna give but that's a bop that's not it grew on me i was one of the ones who was like what is this summer but the song is cute it's a bop it's something fun, something cute for the summertime. It's not the summertime, but that's neither here nor there. But um, I'll Kill You, I remember that the track list dropping and we were all like, I feel like everybody was like, oh my gosh, they're about to come for men. <laughs> they're gonna come for the men species. And these girls are talking about other girls. They'll kill other girls for their man. And it's like, no, we won't. Like, I don't know. Like. I can't relate, Summer. I really cannot relate. I really cannot. I'm sorry. I can't relate. So, yeah. But I really do like the song. Like I mentioned before, this is one of the ones where I don't really listen to this song if it's not, if I'm not playing the whole album. So, again, that's why it's on this list. And that's why it's kind of lower in my ranking. And that's kind of how I sculpted my ranking. Is like, which songs do I actually listen to even when I'm not listening to the full Over It album? So, yeah but i still remember that like the track i remember okay me i can't remember what me sounds like again usually i could care less i could say less hit you with that one word reply like bet because you got that effect on me <laughs> oh my gosh i do love this song like like i mentioned before i'll be forgetting which song is which um, but this is a song that I really do like and again, it just shows how like Summer Walker literally does not need much to have a hit like she does not need all the extra production She does not need all that extra rah-rah. She can sing she can write and that's all that matters like I'm sorry I'm gonna I'm stick beside her. I'm gonna stick beside her. Okay, I think Let's move on the next song on my ranking is nobody else and i really do like this song this is one of the songs that i actually do listen to even when i'm not listening to the full album so we're getting to we're getting into like my faves my faves right now and this song i think this is the one i think um the other one that i was mentioning anime i think that's a guitar but i think that nobody else is just a piano and it's just so beautiful it's just a beautiful 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 song and i'm gonna say this so many times but it's like summer walker does not need much to give the girls a good record like she does not need a, a beat she does not need too much and that's why it's higher on my list because it's just like she really did that like she did that what's next on my list because we really are getting into my favorites so i'm excited okay the next one is fun girl and i just again uh if this is another song where it's just like summer is literally with the guitar 
and it's just her and that guitar and it's one of my faves on the album and it's because it's just like it's so relatable i think i use this song if you all were here <laughs> last year around courtmas i did a video called a playlist in my life and if you haven't seen that video i would definitely suggest to um check it out especially if you just want to get to know me a little bit better but i feel like that was just a really great video and it kind of that's on my list as like one of the soundtrack of my life like basically in that video i was making a soundtrack to my life and i feel like that song is just a great depiction of like most girls like talks about life's unfair it talks about how like if you know what you want as a woman it's not attractive like it just is so relatable and i think that's why a lot of girls love summer walker and also i feel like i would put scissor in the same category they're just so relatable like they know what the girls be going through and they put it into a song and that's what i feel about fun girls so although this isn't one of the songs that i really like put on if i'm not if i'm not listening to over it i still put it at the top because it's just so relatable and it definitely describes my life just a little bit just a little bit all right y'all so i'm gonna let this kind of set and marinate a little bit before i finish off this hair but i actually i absolutely love this unit but anyways let's get back into the ranking so after fun girl it's definitely just my which features party next door i feel like they are the per like not the perfect match but i definitely think that i love all the songs that they do together they only done two but i love just my and my affection is definitely a different type of song and they still mesh really well so i'm excited to see more collaborations from these two but i love just my because it's on the similar vein of fun girl where it's like every single girl has had these thoughts of like seem like you gain more from a sugar daddy or a drug dealer like she spilled she spilled <laughs> <laughs> she literally spilled and that's why I love that song too is because it is similar to the other songs that I mentioned where she doesn't need much for it to be a good record but it's very simple it doesn't have a really strong beat or anything it's very class it's very like thinking I can't take no more like it's so good and I feel like they mesh really well and I just love the overall message of the song like she spoke real she spoke real she speaks too real and that's why the girls don't like her like no everybody loves summer the next song is like it featuring a black and i love this song because it's a little bit more up tempo for summer and this is one that i absolutely go back to and play over and over and over even if i'm not playing the whole album so i love that song and it's more upbeat it's different for summer it's I would have like if X for reason X for reason is a cute bop let me say that but I feel like like it is more of like her upbeat songs but it doesn't cross over into kind of kiddish which I feel like X for reason is slowly on that line but like it is an upbeat song that feels still true to summer so that's why I like that song the next one is come through with Usher and I just feel like that collab was so iconic like the fact that she's sampling a song and then she has the artist Whose song she's sampling on it like like don't play with her do not play with her she's not one of them she's not one of them like please do not play with summer that was my favorite when it first came out because it was just like it was just so good it was on all the radio stations like you could not get away from that song and rightfully so okay next is body and that song uh i will say that although it's not my favorite song it is one of her best so that's why it's kind of higher up on the list because it is literally one of her best like i cannot lie a beautiful song she sounds amazing on it um and it is one of those songs that i like literally i will listen to even if i'm not listening to the full over it album you 
guys, I kind of finished the hair, but let's finish up this ranking. Ugh, I love Lynette though. You all know, already know my thoughts on this unit. So I don't really have to go into too much detail with how I feel, but long story short, this unit is bomb. Go get it if you haven't. I think that some colors are still in stock on wig types, or at least it was when I bought this unit. So definitely check. We are now into our top four. So these are the best songs on the album, period. No discussion. <laughs> If you have different a different opinion or a different ranking, definitely leave it in the comments so I can hear. But the next song on my list is Tonight. And this is a song that just makes me feel like so feminine. I don't know the words, but like feminine, sexy. It's very like sultry. And I love this song. And this is one of the songs that when it first came out, I would literally like skip through all the songs and go straight to this song because I was just like, I need to hear it. I need to hear it. And that kind of goes for the next song too, which is Potential. And this song is another one where it's like, it's a very simple song, but it's a hit. Like it just, I don't know. Potential, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but it just makes me feel a certain way. So it's at the top of the list. And that's on period. Okay, the next song, top two, and it's number two, is Drunk Dialing. When it shifts at the end, I like it, but like I would have rather it not have the second part. I don't know how to, like... <laughs> But I love Drunk Dialing, so yeah. But like I mentioned before, it's a no skip album, so don't come for me. If your fave is not my fave, it's fine, okay? It's fine. But I love Drunk Dialing. It's just, it's so true. Like, like a common theme with this album is that she speaks real. And this is another song where it's just like, it's 3.34 and I don't need no more. But also, what I will say is that this shows once again that Summer does not need a flashy beat. She does not need all that for it to be a hit. And number one is Over It, the title track. I just, it's the way, I don't know, like I listen to gospel. I like to listen to gospel. I'm a gospel hero. I like to hear words of meaning. Over It is definitely the best song on this album. And it's because, once again, she's speaking real, which is a common theme with this album. This one has more of like production into it, which I really like, um, even though she doesn't need it because we've seen that with other songs on this album that she does not need a flashy beat to hook in the audience. She needs a guitar and her voice, okay? Her voice is the main star of the show. But this song is just, the beat comes in, it's like, ooh, you feel it. And then she's speaking real at the same time. It's like, bruh, you just keep, like, <laughs> I can't describe it. I can't describe it, but over it is just like, she don't even say over it in the song. Does she say over it in the song? I don't even think so. She's just describing why she's over it. And for that reason, I have to stand. Like, this is my favorite song because literally it's just so... It's the title track for a reason. And it brung in the album strong. So yeah, that's why I love Over It. And that's why it's the number one song on my list. All right, you guys, so that wraps up this video. My second hair get ready with me. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy these types of videos. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And let me know whose album I should do next in the comments. If you have a different opinion on what is the best Summer Walker or the ranking of Over It, then definitely drop it in the comments. Let me know what song you are looking forward to from Still Over It. And Honestly, if this video does well, I might do a Still Over It edition because I cannot wait for that album to drop on November 5th. I am going to be playing it. I am going to be, and I love how the album has been rolling out. So I'm super excited. Definitely let me know your ranking down in the comments and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.